Well, you guys, welcome back to another episode of Summit Life. We just got the Cayman pulled out of storage over here to our shop. Faith is drying it off, we got it all washed. We're gonna be working on the Cayman today, finalizing some things, we're going to be adding some things to the car, figuring out future plans. Um, so I'm pretty excited. We haven't worked on the Cayman in a while and it's kind of falling apart, so there's a lot to do. For example, uh, check this out, got a nice gap going. Yeah, the side skirt's kind of falling off. So the side skirt we need to fix. We also need to fix the issue of there is no wing on the car. So today we're going to be talking design and game plan for the wing so that I can get that ordered and ready for SEMA this fall. Another thing is, I don't know if you guys can tell, but you can completely see through the car. Hi. Hi. It is a fishbowl and we need to fix that. That is going to be in today's video. Um, Clayton, you just revealed some very important news that nobody knew about yet. What? This is gonna be at SEMA. Oh, just like Faith mentioned, the reason we are pulling this out and getting the ball rolling again on the Cayman is we just got word that the Cayman has been accepted to be at a booth inside the SEMA car convention in Las Vegas this November. I could not be more excited because if you know SEMA, you know that's like the pinnacle car show, car convention in the car industry. And this car right here, that is falling apart currently will be there on display. Before we start working on the Cayman, there's a couple things I need to do around the shop here, kind of work related, not really, but there's one thing that I think we can fit in today's video, and it has to do with that artwork right there on the wall. I'm going to be replacing that with something much cooler. You guys have probably seen these in the background of our videos. These are actually pieces of art created by my neighbor, who's kind enough to give us to these when we moved in years and years ago. But I have something a little bit more personable to put up. So my buddy Braden with South Valley Photo, he made this print for me, which is so sick. This was a year and a half ago during the two week quarantine, we did a photo shoot mm. inside of a shopping mall. How sick is that? If you guys have been watching our channel for a while, we actually posted a video about this photo shoot in the mall and we had our F430 back then. Both were black and it was really cool. We got to drive both to the mall, we got some Red Robin, that was a really good day. That was awesome. We did a drive through in the mall for Red Robin. So and we skateboarded in the mall. And I did a half donut. Yeah, you did. <laughs> and got and in trouble. We had to clean up the tire marks. <laughs> yeah. What do you guys think? Right there, dead center? Let me see. A little lower? Let me see. Right. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Over Not here. so fast. Over Not here. so fast. Uh, to the left. Perfect. Nice. Here we go. That was easy. Very easy, we just gotta figure out where to put these. Also, are we gonna talk about the elephant in the room? And by elephant, I mean the McLaren. The McLaren? <laughs> yeah, so the 720 is pretty sick. It, we have it in here doing some stripes. You guys can see a little sneak peek of what we're doing there. But this belongs to my buddy Patrick Adair. He makes the sickest rings ever. He actually bought this car from Post Malone himself. One day our garage will be full of Yurises and McLarens and... One day. One day. One day we'll have a bigger garage where we can fit more than just two cars. Yeah. Yeah, right now our shop's looking pretty messy and a little a little janky and ghetto considering what Clayton's got going on out here with his truck. Um, it's been like this for, uh, what, two weeks? I can explain. This has been up on the jack stands for a little over two weeks. It's been actually four weeks, two days. <laughs> I've been keeping track because I'm very impatient. So I actually have the steering knuckles off being machined because the lift kit that we have ordered, which will be here in one week, I, they guaranteed that. Um, I am doing crossover steering because we're going so high. We're doing a six inch lift. I need to adjust the steering. Yeah, he, he wants to make it so I have to jump into the truck. I have steps. I have step? steps that will open, that will graciously come down when you open your door and you can step right up in. Yes, he's told people these steps are for Faith specifically. They are. I can jump up. Back to the Cayman, the project at hand. So I mentioned that it is a fishbowl and we are going to be fixing that today. I had to strip the tint a few months ago because within the last year, my tint was very, very dark and I got pulled over six times, six individual times, two of the times within five minutes. <laughs> uh, and the cops were not happy when they learned that it had happened many times. So uh, they actually uh, made it so that I stripped the tint. So I have some tint in this tube right here that I have never used before. So this tint is very unique. Uh, I'm not gonna show you quite yet. <laughs> Hold on, let me just say something. Okay. Despite getting pulled over six times and having to strip the tint, Clayton has still not learned his lesson. Having tint on your car looks so good and it's worth the hassle. Yeah, yeah, but this kind of tint is like oh, literally is asking for it. This is probably the most illegal tint you could buy right now. <laughs> but I think this is a re-emerging 
tint fad from the 90s. I remember seeing this as a kid. It's slowly making its way back. In fact, the car show in Denver that we took the Gallardo to, I saw some drift cars and tuner cars that had this and I had to have it. And uh, it's actually reflective mirror tint. And I found a company out of LA that makes a dark bronze. And I think that'll look really good on the car. Now, do you think those two different types of bronze will look okay? I, don't, I was so conflicted. And I'm, I'm hoping that once it's on the windows that it will actually lighten up a tad. I think it'll look okay, but once we're done, we'll see. <laughs> the other day, we actually saw a GTR driving around town that had silver reflective tint, and he had it on the windshield. Uh, I'm doing my windshield. You're doing your windshield? Yes. Well, now you're really asking for it. What's <laughs> yeah. this? These are all the colors they have. Ooh. You got red. Wow. Which would look really cool if my wheels were red. Then you have all the this color shifting. This is what I saw ones. on the GTR. Yeah, the, wow. the color shifting. We got, look at that one. Whoa. It's pretty cool. Yeah, I can it's see not, myself. It's not very dark. Well, that is quite reflective. Yeah, it's gonna be pretty crazy. I say let's just stick to the full send plan. Okay. We're a little concerned that this bronze might clash with the wheels, but like Clayton said, we're just gonna do a full send. Might as well just rock it for a little bit. Yeah. And, and see how quickly you get pulled over. Yeah. So now comes transfer time. So we need to take the film, move it from the exterior, put it on the interior without touching any dust in the universe at all. Okay, now that the windshield is properly installed, it actually doesn't look terrible. All right. Still doesn't match, but it doesn't look terrible. Moment of truth, I haven't seen it yet. Dude, that actually looks sick. You see what I'm saying? Wow. Hey, it actually doesn't look bad. And you uh -huh. were over there worrying. I'm a little worried. The main thing I'm worried about now is I don't even think I can get back over to my storage facility without getting pulled over. percent done Clayton still has to untint these and retint them and then tint this back window which I know isn't very fun it's actually not very difficult oh wow tinting when it's 85 degrees out is sweaty oh, <laughs> it looks so dang good we just finished the deck lid which seems easy but it's actually very hard but since we're in the back here, I need to talk about a wing with you guys, but more specifically, how we mount the wing. The wing is gonna be a perfectly flat, very wide, very big, gloss carbon fiber wing that I'm having Ooh. custom made. I just need to figure out how to mount it to the car. So we have two options to choose from, and I need your guys' help in the comments below. While you guys consider the two mounting options, keep in mind I'm trying my best to hide these giant holes that I drilled. So before I bought the Pandem kit, I was going a totally different direction with the build and I ended up drilling these holes. So I'm trying to hide them. But option one is to mimic the Pandem wing as best as I possibly can. And the way that works, well, I'll show a photo. The way that works is we mount the uprights, the swan neck uprights about right there. The option two, which is the option that the wing company is pushing me to go, is to do wider goose or swan neck uprights like the brand new 992 GT3. Here's a photo of that wing. Uh, the uprights will be right here and the upright brackets will hide two or four of the seven holes. So three of them will be exposed. So what do you guys think? 
Well, what do you want? Both are gonna be really, really cool. I like the Pandem Wing a lot, but you can always just buy that from Pandem. I'm kinda maybe leaning towards more of the custom, custom route. Custom route. That way I it's see. one of a kind, no one else has it. So I am technically leaning more towards the GT3 style wing over the Pandem wing, but here are both photos. You can compare them both. I'm kind of leaning towards the GT3 wing because it's more custom, but let me know in the comments below. Now the tint turned out awesome and here in the shop it looks spectacular, but I cannot wait to see what it looks like out in the sun. I think right now we need to pull it out, check it out, and maybe get some rollers really quick. Are you down? Maybe, 100%ly. 100%ly rollers, here we go. Clayton, what do you think? I actually like it. It's a little bit different color than what I was expecting. I thought it was gonna be a little bit more paley bronze, but it actually looks really, really good. And in the sun, it doesn't look as reflective as it did in the Yeah. So that gives me hope for tickets. Also, before we end the video, I do wanna give a quick plug to our merchandise. Link in the description below. I've been wearing our new socks all day long. Check it out. They're gray and pink to match the new Gallardo. If you guys wanna cop some of these socks or some bucket hats or neck gaiters, check out the link in the description below. That looks so cool. Oh my gosh, that looks really, really, really cool. I, I really like it. I'm glad it turned out good because I was a little nervous there for a second, but He's racing off without me. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. We are trying really hard to get more videos out to you, so hopefully you enjoyed this one, and we'll see you in the next video.